Richard, we obviously see, well, we see more on TV, but when you're here, you see horses herring down here at top speed. But if we go to the start, because it's quite an interesting and unique course at Epsom, when you jump, what sort of position are you looking for? What happens in, let's say, from the start to Tatnam Corner? So, obviously the derby start, you start a very steep hill, but you also bear right first. Mm -hmm. So you all got to go right and then tack back to the left. So you've got to make sure, you know, you don't want to get stuck wide, but then you don't, you know, so you don't want too many horses kicking up your inside before you get back to that rail. So mm -hmm. you've got to be quite forceful early. You need a horse that travels up in there, but again, because it's such a steep hill, mm -hmm. you don't want them to do too much. So it's a really fine balance. Um, it is a difficult course for them. There's, there's, there's no section where they're not either turning or going up or down. Um, so there's a, a lot to take in for them. And what about when you do turn as a jockey? Do you take all of this in? Do you hear it? Do you, do you feel that buzz or are you so focused on the task at hand? Um, the first derby day I rode, you really noticed the crowd. Uh -huh. um, but now I'm getting on a little bit. It's, you know, <laughs> it's mind on the job and just concentrating on the horse. And what would be your ideal position when you do turn for home? Ideal position and, and feel of the horse as well? Yeah, ideal position would be a couple still to aim at, just getting up into top gear and I look to get a bit of space because obviously you can see they run back down to the rail. So if mm -hmm. you're down on the rail already, it's, gaps are going to start closing. Uh -huh. So I look to get him a bit of space and um, you know a nice clean run through. And as we look at this last year, if you can picture yourself on Desert <laughs> Crown. <laughs> yeah, I was way back there. He was already in front. So um, yeah, it was all pretty smooth for him, and um, it was it was class. When did you know you were winning? You you must have. Got a feeling because um, he did win quite cozily, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, over the road, just as you turn in, I gave him a squeeze and I got an, an amazing response. He yeah. just changed his leads and he took me there really nicely. I was able to get the bit back up in his mouth and, uh -huh. you know, get him to fill up. And, you know, so from two out, he showed that gear and mm. I felt it was in the bag from there. You'll be getting excited today if you get the same feel on passenger. I'm hoping so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and what about today? I mean, the, the ground's perfect, the weather's great. You yeah, must be ground happy with with everything, I'd imagine. Yeah, ground's perfect for me. You know, I th hopefully it all goes smoothly. He takes it all in well. He's got a great mind. Uh -huh. You know, that's a big step of it, getting him to the start in in good frame of mind, mm -hmm. and um, you know, then we can race. And is there anything you're specifically trying to do today? Any sort of tactic, or is it again ride the race and? And see how it unfolds. Uh, yeah, I like to keep an open mind going into race because so much can happen. Uh -huh. um, but I think trying to keep things smooth is key. Well, best of luck. And we'll be hoping for a Derby double <laughs> yes. in front of the Betfred stands. That's it. <laughs>